Welcome back to our traffic light project. In this episode, we are going to add a background panel to our J frame and we're going to color it and add a basic label. While we're doing this for a traffic light, um, this could be done for any graphics project. So let's go ahead and get started. So we'll go down here to our code where we have our J frame. And the first thing that we're going to do is to create a new instance of panel. So we'll say J panel panel is equal to new J panel. And I've just named this instance panel. You could name it panel one if you like, or something else, but try to make it logical so that people behind you can understand what you're doing. Now I need to color the background or this panel white. So I'm going to say panel dot set background and I'm going to use the color white. You could use any of the other Java colors that are available. Now notice here that I have an error and it says that color cannot be resolved to a variable and one reason this is is because I haven't imported the color class. So I need to go to the top and I need to say import java.awt.color And I'll go back down here. And now I need to set the size of my panel. So I'm going to say panel dot set preferred size. And as a variable or parameter, I'm going to pass in an instance of the class dimension. So I'm going to say new dimension. And dimension takes a height and a width as parameters. So I'm going to do 180 by 220. And it's actually the first variable is your width and your second variable is your height. Now over here I have another error again and again dimension cannot be resolved to a type so I have to go in import dimension. So I'll go up here to the top and I'll say import java.awt.dimension and that resolved that issue for me. So let's go ahead and test this and see what we have. I'm going to go ahead and save it and then run it. And it looks like I still don't have the correct color. Now one reason that this is happening is that I haven't added the panel to the frame. So what I need to do is go down here and under set preferred size, I need to say frame dot get content pane and I need to use the method add and I need to pass in the name of my panel which in this case is just panel or panel 1 if you decided to name it that. So now let's go ahead and run it again Now, now you can see that I have a, a white panel that's filling up my frame according to the dimensions that I set. So let's go ahead and add a basic label. Let's say at the top here you wanted to say this was a traffic light. And so we can add a, a, what was called a J label. So after our panel and before we add the panel to the content frame, we're going to create a new instance of JLabel. So we'll say JLabel label 1 is equal to new JLabel. And we want it to, this label to say traffic light. I have another area over here and it says J label cannot be resolved to type but in this case it's because I spelled it incorrectly and then again the last thing I need to do is to um, add it add the label to the panel
So I need to say panel dot add label one. And now let's run it. See if we did this correctly. Go ahead and save it. And now you can see I have a basic label that says this, we're gonna put a traffic light in here. So this can be used to create any graphics project where you are creating a frame, adding a background panel of some particular size, and then adding a basic label. I could also add images here but in our next instance we're going to learn how to create a separate class called traffic light panel and then pass that panel into our frame rather than doing it all in the runner. So we'll see you next time.